Today is the day that I'm going to feel like I'm pretty much done with my apartment. Hello y'all, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Of course, we are still doing this moving process. If you haven't kept up with all of my last moving videos, you really should because my apartment has made so much progress over the past couple of weeks. It's almost been a month since I moved in. That's crazy to me. Like so weird doesn't feel like it's been a month already but today we have some more progress i am currently looking at these two packages and clearly this is my rug i ordered a rug to go underneath my coffee table on my couch and i really hope it works i think it's gonna work but clearly like there's like a big old empty space right now so we need the rug to fill in the empty space so i'm hoping this works and it's what i want and more this is a chair a desk chair because i have my desk and i don't have a chair for it let's unbox these i feel like in every video i'm sitting on the floor but that's okay i talk about these blades in like every video but I use them to open packages and they're actually so handy and they're very sharp so be careful I'm nervous about this rug I don't know why it's taking me so long to find a rug I was looking on rugs.com Amazon I would go to every single store and look for rugs and there was just nothing I liked I'm not even sure if I really like this one but I really do need a rug so there we go it's like a snake shedding its skin Ooh. yay let's open it together Ooh, I don't know if I like it <laughs> Okay, I think that's how the rug is supposed to go. I'm gonna have to sit with it, but I don't think that fits the space well. I obviously need a little rug. Like, this isn't a big space, but I think this is a four by six, and I don't think it's working for me. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh boy doesn't want to answer. Okay, well, Brian's the one that told me this rug would fit and look good. I asked for his opinion on lots of rugs, and he told me this would be the best one. The more I look at it, the more I don't hate it, but I don't want to have something I just don't hate, you know? Like, I want to love it. I just think it looks a little small. Do you guys think so? Please let me know. I've really been taking your opinions into consideration. Everybody knows I had this lamp right by here. I only really had it there when I didn't have a TV, and I was always planning on moving it. Y'all told me a bunch of times to move it into the corner, and I like it way better there. It also, it's so nice for when I'm reading at night. I have the lamp right there. Let's open this big boy. Here's the legs of the chair. I'm getting real tired of playing Bob the Builder. I know I said I don't need no man, and I don't need no man, but sometimes I wish I had a man to just do it for me. Not because I can't, just because I don't want to. Is there no directions with this thing? Why am I breath? It's a heavy duty chair. Okay, I think that'll look good though. Oh. I, build it. I took out all the little pieces, but I don't really understand how to build it. I hate when instructions don't have step-by-step. -step. It's literally just a photo of where you put everything. I'll see you when I build this. Okay, y'all, it is the end of the day now. I just hung out with a new friend and like we went to the pool and stuff. So it's been a little while, but as you can see, I got the chair built. It's as built as it's going to be. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It'll tuck more into the desk when I move what's behind the desk out, but I really like the way it looks. It matches everything else in the apartment, so I'm happy with that a lot. I got more Amazon packages. Of course, so we're gonna do an unboxing and see what I got. Oh, this is not for my house. I'm going to Tallahassee this weekend to see my friends and go to FSU, go Knowles. I'm a Seminoles fan until the day I die. I didn't wanna bring a suitcase because that's a little weird, staying in the dorms. So I just bought a little duffel bag because I do not have my own duffel bag. I literally have been borrowing my mom's for like ever. So this was like the number one rated one on Amazon. Oh, it looks really good. I'll link it on my Amazon storefront if you guys want. I have all this stuff linked in my Amazon storefront. Literally everything that I buy from Amazon is linked on my storefront. I hope this works. It looks a little small. I don't know. For a weekend, that might be a little small. We'll see. Okay, this should definitely be apartment stuff. Yay. All right, I ordered two coffee table books because, as you know, I have a coffee table. Ooh, this one came a little messed up. Well, basically, I wanted to add more color to my coffee table because it's very blue right now. I found this book, which is so pretty. Little book, Big Plants. It just basically has really pretty plant pictures and tells you about the plant and you get to learn. And I just thought it was aesthetic and pretty to flip through on a coffee table. And then I got The Sun and Her Flowers, which I have Milk and Honey. It's by the same author, which this is a poem book. And I'm gonna read the poems before I put it out, but I think poetry is so beautiful and I think people would actually enjoy to read this on a coffee table. Table. Like when I go to people's houses, I actually look what's on the coffee table and I want to see what books they have But that might just be because I love to read. We'll see though. It looks really beautiful I mean even the cover is just amazing and if you've never read like one of these little poetry books They're just really really sweet and they have cute little artwork and stuff So these are gonna go on the coffee table. Let's see what it looks like right now Oh, I bought these cards as well how to love yourself cards and these are gonna go here too That looks good, right? Okay, so obviously my TV remote my bag bomb won't be here But I bought these coasters also from Amazon. There's like two I just stacked 
exactum. I have this book, this little journal, but I want to break up the blue. I feel like there's a lot of blue here, but this is also keeping the blue. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, maybe we'll just put this here as well. That's cute. Okay, that'll be it for now. I definitely want to get a thicker, like a bigger book like this to put down here. Hopefully I'll get something to break up the blue, but I do like the blue and it matches the carpet. The more I look at the carpet, the more I like it. I moved it out from underneath the couch and I think that looks better. I really do. And I do think I need more color in here. So I think that looks good. I don't hate it. I'm going to keep sitting with the carpet for a few days. I say carpet, it's a rug, but we'll see how I feel. So this is it for right now. And the chair. Don't forget the chair because this thing took probably 40 minutes to build. It was crazy. Hey y'all, it's been a second since you last saw me. The last time I filmed for this vlog was like a few weeks ago. We are now back and I am doing a DIY for my bedroom. I went to Michael's yesterday and I picked up these two huge canvases because we are going to make them like beachy kind of canvas art for my bedroom. I saw this TikTok. This is not my own idea. I did not come up with this, but basically you take this stuff that you fill in holes in the wall with and you add it to your canvases and move it all around with these things that I bought I ordered this stuff on Amazon and you kind of make it look squiggly like the sand and the ocean and then you add shells on top of it and you guys know how much I love shells I always collect them I have them littered all around my apartment and I went to the beach today and got some more we have lots of pretty things to be putting on our art so it's basically just gonna be a lot of pretty shells all over this and we're gonna DIY it together because this means that nobody else will have the same art that's hanging up in my bedroom and you guys already know my bedroom is beachy themed. So I think it's gonna be really exciting. I also, on Amazon, I'll have all the Amazon stuff linked in my storefront, you guys know already. I got this print for my bathroom to go above my toilet. It is so freaking cute, are you kidding me? It has all these little girls riding on their boards and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna get a frame for this just because this is like a nice print and it's gonna hang above my bathroom, above my toilet. Right now we are working on this little DIY. I'm a little nervous, but the fun thing about it is if it doesn't turn out, I didn't pay a whole lot of money. The canvases were $20, so 10 per canvas. I think this thing was like $10 and this thing is huge. And I can also use this when I move out to actually fill in the holes. And then these were $3 and the shells are free. So the whole project is what? Under 50 bucks for two pieces of art and you're gonna make it yourself, so let's do it. Okay, we've moved to the floor because I don't trust myself to do this on the counter. The person that I saw do this first, her name is Sophia, so I'm gonna show you guys just so you know. This is the account if you wanna go look at it. I think this was her idea. It's the first person I saw do it, and she literally is just painting the putty on, making it look all like squiggly, and then adding the shells, and it's so pretty, so I'm so excited. She does a lot smaller frames. I got a big wall, so we work with what we get. That is so cute, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so obviously it goes on pink before it dries, but I'm gonna start adding a few of the shells just because I wanna make sure that they dry on it and that it's not dry when I add them. But I also kinda wanna make them look like they're like in there. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of like, you know, just give it some texture, make it look like they're in the sand. I don't know, I'm kinda winging it right now, but we're getting there, we're getting somewhere. This is what the first one looks like so far. I need to let it all dry and then decide if I wanna add more shells or more of like the spackle putty. But I'm gonna start working on this one now. I think it looks really good so far and obviously it's not gonna be pink. You can see it's drying down here and it's lighter than it is up there, but I like it so far. We're gonna see if I wanna add more and keep going, but time for round two. While my little DIY is drying, I bought these little hooks. They're called hat hooks or hat hangers off Amazon. Again, I'll link them. I want to hang up a bunch my hats in my closet and I want to hang up this little surfboard that I bought on the way into my bathroom and I'm just gonna use one of these because I think it'll match the aesthetic pretty well and I don't have any nails really when I hang up those canvases I'm definitely gonna have to get some they come separated and then you just screw it onto the sticky part and stick it onto the wall and in between the two canvases I'm gonna hang up my two cowboy hats too the vision is coming to life trust me I thought it'd be super super cute and like I've seen people use hats as decor before obviously but I think like it's gonna match like the vibe like the coastal beachy coastal cowboy vibes so <laughs> we're not gonna hang up the hats yet because the pictures will need to go up before then but we're gonna hang up the surfboard here she is and this is what i was talking about so these will go like on the wall in between the two little art pieces and i think it's just gonna look so good this is gonna be hung up right here 
on the way into the bathroom. And the little surfer print that I was talking about is just gonna go right here once I get a frame for it. I think that's gonna be so cute because it has like the pinks and the blues and it will tie it all in. I think this height is good. I feel like if it's in any lower, it'd look weird. We're just gonna mark it with my finger and hope for the best. Ugh. Hopefully this doesn't rip the paint off my walls. That would not be ideal. Guess we'll find out when I move out. I don't think that's straight, but it's gonna have to do. Aw, that's cute. I like it. I thought it wasn't gonna match well, but I think the browns are pretty similar and it ties in the rest of the room, so. I think I'm gonna build some more of these so I can hang up the hats in my closet. I have a lot of hats and I just don't wear them because I don't have a whole lot of storage and they're not displayed. And I feel like if I display them, I will wear them more often. I just love hats, I really do, but I forget that I own them. So this is how easy this is. I think it comes with eight, it was like $10 on Amazon. And honestly, like sticky, you don't have to put a hole in the wall, so clutch. And they had different colors of like these knobs, but I really like these so far. And if, as long as they stay put, like the heaviest thing that's gonna be held is that surfboard. So I think it'll be perfect, but they are meant for hats. Hats. Like they are called hat hat hangers or hat holders. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's adorable. I think that is so cute and I could obviously put more and on the other side of the closet. Don't mind my closet. I know it's a mess, but that's just because I have a lot of stuff. But I think I'm gonna do one more right here. That'll be adorable. I don't have the command hooks that I need to hang my canvas, so they have so many, so I'm a little bit disappointed. But I feel like last time I took you guys to Walmart, I was also buying command strips, so command, sponsor me. I love your stuff. I found more. I think these might work. So there's specific ones that you can use for canvases that I found. Oh, this looks pretty good, though. These aren't the ones that I found online, but I think they might work. I literally bought all this stuff on Amazon to make my art. That's so funny. Y'all, it's hanging day. Today is the day that I'm going to feel like I'm pretty much done with my apartment because we are hanging up everything on the walls, all of the art, everything that I made, the hats. Also, what I'm most excited for is I ordered these prints and they just came in and I'm gonna hang them above my couch and that is going to be the art for my living room because like the living room is so cute but this wall needs something. And so I found these prints. I've been looking for something to put on that wall for so long but the wall is really large so I was having trouble finding what I wanted to put there and I really really love these flower prints. I think they match the aesthetic of the apartment and the living room super well. These are from Amazon. I don't think they were that expensive. I think it was like $20 for all of them. Yeah, that's crazy good and I gotta figure out how I want to arrange them on the wall. They're so beautiful. London, Amsterdam. These are beautiful. Madrid. I love them because they tie in all the colors of the apartment. My living room is so very bright and I wanted to make sure that whatever I put on the wall, all also brightened it up. New York, this is so beautiful. I'm not putting them in frames. I'm literally just gonna put them on the wall, but that's cause I think this color is a little bit darker than my wall, so I think it'll stand out. I don't know, I'm not buying like 12 picture frames. That's just not happening. Did I say Lisbon? <laughs> Honolulu. Guys, I miss Hawaii so bad. I love this one. This one's my favorite, of course. Tokyo, oh my goodness. And Florence, these are so beautiful. And I have to show you my final art. It dried, it's all done. You can't see too well on the camera, but you see how it has like all the little little ridges and lines and I went in and added some like powder to make it have like these little uh, darker kind of spots all over it but I'm really really happy with the way it turned out as you guys know these are gonna hang in my bedroom obviously some is like a little bit still pink but it's fine it'll dry eventually so those are going up today too okay so I'm debating doing three by three or four by four or just mitch matching them all around so like I did with my art in my bedroom like all the prints and everything I laid them on the floor took pictures and then decided which one I liked best so that's what we're gonna do. And we gotta see how the colors go. So like obviously you're not gonna put two oranges right next to each other. There's nine prints. I thought there was eight. Well, I guess that decides for us unless I wanna leave one out. Ugh, that's so great. So I like the layout of this a lot, but I feel like on this wall, the three by three might not correlate how it needs to be. Like, I feel like it might be too tall and not wide enough. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. It's gonna be centered over my couch, not over this wall. And so I felt like the three by three might be too tall, but then again, this wall is really large. So I don't really know how to put it on there without sticking stuff to the wall already. I'm not sure because this is how it's displayed online, but obviously you can put it like however you want to. Okay, I think I got it. Let's get hanging. <laughs> I'm doing this with painters tape because it won't rip off the walls and these are like just thick pieces of paper So it shouldn't really be an issue. This is how I hang up like any prints I just put painters tape on all the four corners I hope that's centered
Yo. Yes, I did. What's up? <laughs> Do you think this looks too tall up? It might be like a couple inches. It's not terrible. Yeah, sit down real quick and let me see where your head is. Oh, no, then that's probably fine. You sure? Because you don't want people's head to touch it. Well, you could probably pull it down four to six inches. Okay, y'all, they were definitely a little too high up. I knew it as soon as I put the first row up, but I just want to see what it looked like. So I fixed them, and I'm actually really happy with the way it looks i think it frames the couch and just adds so much good color i love i'm obsessed with them if you want to buy these they will be linked on my amazon like i said they were not that expensive and they're just not cute i just i love the vibes of my living room hold on let me back it up tell me that is not the cutest thing you've ever freaking seen and then i have an extra print i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet i might not hang it up but i was kind of thinking maybe like above my trash can might be cute <laughs> I don't know. We're just gonna leave that. And now it's time to conquer this big wall, which I'm a little scared about because these are, as you can see, they have a little bit of weight to them. That's what I bought these command strips for. And we're gonna get to it. I'm scared, but it'll be good. Y'all, I am super nervous about hanging these up because they're command strips, so you have really one chance. Like, I don't know, I'm just nervous. I measured it all out with the measuring tool and with a tape measure, but I'm still concerned that it's not gonna work. I'm going to use the level on my phone to make sure that it's even. I just want it to be like straight and even. That's the only thing I'm worried about because remember, I'm gonna put the hats in between. I'm nervous, but I think we got it. This might take me a little while. But once I stick it on, there's no going back. If it's crooked, it's literally gonna bother me until I die and I, my command strips came with the exact perfect amount. So I do not have extras. I do not have room to play around with this. Like if it don't work, I'm screwed. Then I gotta go spend another 20 bucks on command strips. <laughs> okay, everybody say a prayer. Okay, that's straight. <sighs> Guys, does this look okay? Y'all, I think it's too high. <laughs> also, if you're wondering about my shirt having these two little pokey things, I'm wearing a bathing suit underneath and I'm not trying to flash you guys, but like, it's very pokey right here and my mom said it looks like my nipples. It's not my nipples. It's just the bathing suit and I didn't realize it. Hopefully that hasn't been distracting you. But it's time to hang up the hats because I need to make sure that they look good. I think that's too high, I really do, and I can't do anything about it now. It also looks really small on this wall, but guys, freak, that's way too high, isn't it? I think it is. The hats are up, the hats are up, and now the last frame is gonna go up. I'm a little nervous, but it's coming together. Guys, it's done. And you can't tell me that this is not so cute. And if anything is not even, do not tell me because I will cry. I've been going at this for the past like two and a half hours, and I'm sweating, but I'm really proud because I did it all myself, and I really like the way it came out. So yeah, that's what that looks like. I'm obsessed. I love it, and if you don't, don't tell me, because it's my room, it's my apartment. I love it! I think it's so freaking cute, and it looks so coastally and beachy. Here's what this side looks like. Obviously, I have, like, little things right here, and then my play buttons, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Well, y'all, that is it for this video, and I really hope you're loving my apartment as much as I am. And like I said, if you're not, please keep your negative comments to yourself. Again, this is my apartment. I've spent a lot of hard-earned money, time, effort, and love putting into it, and I think it's coming together beautifully don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed we have so much fun stuff coming up like i'm taking so many cool trips and you guys just love to come along and of course we have my whole life in florida now which i'm loving so follow all my social medias it's at katie underscore mckenzie i'm somewhere else on the internet and i'll see you guys in my next video love you bye